How to set up a business email with GoDaddy. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can set up your own business email with GoDaddy. Now, business emails can seem so complicated, but GoDaddy makes it really easy where you have an all-in-one platform providing you with a domain, website, hosting, and your business email that is directly linked. So let's get started. The first step to getting started with setting up our business email on GoDaddy is going to be to create our GoDaddy account. So for this, click on sign in and then click on create an account if you don't have one already. I already have an account, so I'm just going to log in. But if you don't, you can proceed with your email address, Google or Facebook. Now I'm just going to go into sign in over here and we are going to log on to GoDaddy. And once we do that, we're going to proceed onto our GoDaddy dashboard. Now I'm going to go back into GoDaddy because I want to browse other products and other emails. Now you will see on GoDaddy, if you click on email on the top left bar, you can see different plans and pricing for business emails. So as an individual, you can get a domain based email that helps you build your brand. If you already have a domain name, you might want something that's linked to your domain. So you can click on add to cart over here. Plans can range from anywhere between one to, you know, a couple of hundred dollars, depending on what type of domain you have. You guys can see this is the most basic plan and if you subscribe for one month you can get it for $7.99 and that's gonna be around two dollars for one month and then if you click on continue to cart over here you're going to proceed on to your actual checkout now you have to decide what uh, domain name you're going to be using with that so if I am only purchasing yes just professional email what is my professional email going to be linked to? So what type of um, domain or at address do I want? I already have purchased a domain via GoDaddy, so I can just proceed over here and purchase my mailbox. However, if you don't have a domain already, you might want to purchase that before you purchase your uh, second product, which is going to be your email address. So for my business email address, I want it to be called lily or spencer and i'm just going to search for domains that are related to spencer and i'm going to search for the spencer site and we're just searching and you guys can see you have a exact match we also have some other options and i'm going to go with the spencer dot site and this is you guys can see they have a specific term and I'm not going to have to purchase for the entire term. I'm just going to proceed with the Spencer dot site. And then I can proceed on to my checkout. Once I do that, I can proceed with my domain options, which include if I want domain protection, if I want a professional email, if I want a coming soon page. Then I'm going to go with the professional email and then click on continue to cart. Once I do that, I can proceed on to our next step which is going to be purchasing. And I am just going to remove our first option and I'm going to only subscribe to the domain for one year. And then at the bottom within your professional or business email, it's going to ask you how long you want to subscribe to this particular email. And I only want the subscription for one month. So I'm just going to select that from here. Once I do that, I can click on I'm ready to pay. And I'm just going to click on complete purchase. Once I click on complete purchase, my purchase is going to go through. Now these taxes and fees and subtotals are going to vary depending on how demanded the domain is. And just like that, our receipt has been generated and our two products have been purchased, which include a domain and a professional email. Now it's time to choose your new email account. So it's going to be called at the Spencer dot site. So I'm going to name this Lily Davis at Spencer dot site. And I'm going to change my name over here to Lily Davis. Then we have administrator permissions. There must be at least one admin for the account, which is going to be yes. And then we're going to choose the password we want to use. And I'm just going to proceed with a simple password like so. 
and we will send the account info to this particular email address and slowly davis at spencer the spencer dot site now i'm going to click on create and something went wrong for some reason and i'm just going to refresh this there just might be a simple connectivity issue and we can just go into manage my product over here on the top right to set up our email and i'm just going to wait for this to be loaded up and this is our domain and we're just going to click on that the spencer.site and we're going to skip the ai tool set up for our website and we're just going to proceed directly into our domain so this is our the spencer dashboard and we're going to go into email over here to see if our business email is being set up so you guys can see uh, we have to build our first um, email address so this is going to be called lily davis at the spencer dot site and i'm going to click on create new email to set up our professional or business email address and just like that our account was successfully created now it is currently being set up it might take a couple of seconds for your particular email to be set up we can also set up email forwarding which basically means that the mails that you receive in this particular account could be forwarded into any particular inbox of your choice and personally most people do that if they have a pre-existing business email and they want to switch to a new email address and they're just you know uh, getting rid of the older one now in this you have multiple different features including adding multiple users signing into your email and setting up your devices you can also go into my brand and manage your brand as well including your basic sign-in page and other information then you can also go into deals and see some of the different deals that godaddy is partnering with and providing for you now setting up your email might take a little bit of time when it's being set up on GoDaddy as a new business email. But if you are using a GoDaddy domain with conjunction to the email, it usually takes a lot less time. Now you're gonna click on sign in to sign into your GoDaddy email. And once you do that, so we're gonna sign into our email, which currently is still taking more time to be set up. And I'm just gonna click on manage over here. And if you ever want to recover your email, you can also go ahead and set up um, a different password. You can also upgrade your plan as your business needs grow. Currently our storage is 10 gigabytes on the most basic plan on GoDaddy business email setups. And you can set up your email on your desktop, on your mobile devices, and even create your own email signatures. So if I proceed over here, I want to set it up on Apple Mail so I can proceed with Apple Mail and I can click on add account to add my GoDaddy account onto my mailbox. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and if you have any questions or queries, make sure to leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.